Hey gang, Jerry here. In today's video, we're going to be doing some maintenance to our home house generator, our Generac generator. Um, we're gonna do, be doing a uh, oil change, air filter, spark plugs, and uh, resetting our maintenance light. So if you want to check out how we do that, stick around. All right, so as you can see here, um, we should have a solid green light, but we have a yellow green light. And what this uh, yellow green light is indicating for you is that um, there is some scheduled maintenance that has to be performed on your generator. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that maintenance right now. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then once we're done, I'll show you how to clear out this light to where it goes back to green. All right, so the first thing to do to get started is you have to um, unlock your generator here. There is a key on both sides, you know, once you have those two latches unlocked, simply lift up the top cover here. Top cover just lifts up and folds, folds back. And then for your front bottom cover here, that simply pulls up and lifts off. And we'll just set that aside. And now we have exposure to our generator and we can start the maintenance process. All right, so as you can see on our service panel here, um, it's service schedule A is the reason why our amber light is on for our generator. So and that's what we'll be doing today is our schedule maintenance A. And if you look at the generator, Generac's service schedule, um, for us, um, schedule A is every two years or every 200 um, hours. And it consists of checking the battery condition, replacing the engine and oil filter. And since we're here, we're also going to do um, the spark plugs and uh, air filter, which is not part of Schedule A, but it's just peace of mind for me um, since we're here, just might as well do it. And Generac sells a really nice kit that comes with air filter, spark plugs, engine oil, engine filter. So again, while we're here, it, just preventative maintenance and that's what we'll do. Now, before we do anything to our um, generator, we're gonna shut the power off. In order to shut the power off, we're gonna click off the main circuit breaker. And also over here, we're gonna click off our auxiliary shutdown. So our generator is safe to work on right now in case the power would happen to go out, it's not gonna inadvertently kick on. And then we can move on to performing our maintenance. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is draining the oil. Before we drain the oil, I'm just gonna start up the generator and let it run for a few minutes and get the oil up to operating temperature. And that'll allow us, allow the oil to drain a little bit easier. So it, very simple to start the um, generator. You just, you know, push the manual button. And let it run. Okay, now that we've let our generator run for a few minutes, um, our oil should be um, nice and hot. It'll make it easier to drain the oil and we'll start draining the oil process next. All right, so here's our drain hose for our engine oil. It's um, held on by this little clip here. Just disconnect the clip and you can bring it down. Now, what I recommend if you don't have a large catch pan or something like that, um, the engine holds less than two quarts of oil. Uh, so if you have some, you know, just paper bowls or, you know, some type of recyclable container or something like that, something that doesn't cost you any money, um, you can simply use that uh, and catch the oil. Oil does come out, you know, fairly slowly, so um, there's really no risk of overfilling. You can just swap out as you go, um, but simply just unscrew this plug right here and our oil will begin draining out. Now, as you see, it does uh, drain out fairly slow. To kind of speed up the process, you can come up here and open up the fill plug. This will allow air to enter in the crankcase, will hopefully allow the oil to drain out a little bit quicker. Um, but this is probably gonna take a, you know, several minutes. So once the oil is drained, we'll move on to our next step. Okay, as you see here, um, it's just about done draining oil. And what I've been doing is, um, as it's come in, been coming out, I just, uh, as the bowl's been getting full, I just simply lift the hose up 
and then I take my little bowl here and I dump it in my waste oil catch can. And what this is, this is a empty kerosene can um, that I keep uh, because they're handy to be able to take your waste oil into um, the recycling center to have it properly disposed of. And so as I you know, have empty ones of these, I keep them for all my waste oil. They come in handy. And as you can see, we're pretty much done with the draining of our oil. And then lift her up. We'll put our cap back on and reconnect our oil line to its proper location. It even has a little sticker right there that says oil drain. And we'll move on to our next step. So next thing we're gonna do is be replacing our oil filter. Now it's always a good idea to take a little bit of uh, oil and we'll do it now before we unscrew it. Um, put some oil on the new seal um, for your oil filter. And then, um, get my rag here. Some oil, some generators, uh, especially in the northern climates, are gonna have this uh, cover on it. And this is a heater. Uh, it's a heater for the engine oil. Um, if we live in Michigan, so obviously it gets cold in the winter time, so it does have a heater element for it. Um, oil filter should be just hand tight, tight, but hand tight. And we can start unscrewing it. But before we do screw it, we're gonna lose some oil. So we'll have our new filter ready to go. Have a little catch can underneath there. Unscrew your filter. And then once you get your old filter off, set that aside. You can just set it up because it does have oil inside of it and we'll dispose of that in a minute. Take our new filter and screw it back on. Okay, we can get our catch can out of the way now. Pour that in our waste oil. Clean up any drops that you may have dropped down. And then again, hand tight. Not crazy tight, but hand tight. And there you go. Last thing to do is slip our little preheater back on. And that's all set. Now we'll move on to the next step, which will replace the air filter. All right, so we have our new filter. Um, we're just easy enough. Just undo this, this clip right here. Pull the cover up, take the old filter out. Looks pretty decent, but again, like I mentioned, we're here just gonna put a new filter element in, make sure it's hooked up, and redo the clip. Simple as that. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll swap out the spark plugs. All right, so spark plugs are next, and what I've done right here is your generator um, probably has these brackets right here. The bracket was bolted to these bolts. It's the engine lift points for when they manufacture it, but it does get in the way of changing the spark plug. So you can see I've already moved mine over because I've already done maintenance to my generator before because they were getting, this bracket was right here, so it was getting in the way of changing the spark plugs. So simply um, disconnect the spark plug wire these are 5 8 so it's nice if you ha actually have a spark plug socket, um, and then we'll pull them out. All right, spark plug's actually look in really good condition, but we're gonna replace them while we're here. We have our new plug. And um, it's always good, it's always good to check the gap of your plug, and I do have a gap checker. On my particular generator with this particular spark plug, the gap is 40 thousandths. 
and if I put my gap tool, you can see it's right at the 40 thousandths gap. So these are properly gapped, and I'll go ahead and I'll install it. I'm going to start it by hand first, just to make sure I have the threads properly aligned. And I'll screw it down as far as I can, just with my fingers. Once I get too much resistance, then I'll put the wrench on it. Okay. Okay, and then snug it up. Put your spark plug wire back on. And we'll do exactly the same thing to the back side. All right, so oil strain, filters, oil filters on, air filters in, new spark plugs in, plug wires are back on. Next thing is we'll fill her up with some oil. And I believe, you know, doing this in the past, um, my generator takes right about two and three quarters of a quart. So I'll dump a quart and a half in first and then I'm gonna check it on the dipstick. I'll start it if it's registering on the dipstick. That way we can cycle engine oil into the oil filter. And then we'll do any final adjustments that we need to do after that. So I put, it, put in a quart and a half of fluid so far. I put my cap back on. I have checked the oil and it is registering on the dipstick. You're not gonna be able to see it on the camera because the oil is so clear. But it is registering on the dipstick. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our auxiliary shutdown back on. We're gonna turn our breaker back on. And then we're just gonna run the generator for a few moments. And then I'm gonna go back and recheck the oil and adjust it if necessary. Okay, we'll recheck our oil. And I'm actually right on the full mark. So check it one more time just to be sure. I'm on the full mark, but it's at the bottom of the full mark. I'm just gonna add just a touch more oil to it put her cap on and put this cap on kind of tight. One time I found after our generator was running for a while during a power outage, this cap was just a little bit loose and I was getting oil inside the generator. So make sure you put your fill cap on nice and tight. <clears throat> okay, now I'm at the top hash marks of the full line. So I like that. So, Let's see, oil's done, spark plugs are done, air filter's done. Uh, next thing we have to do is check our battery voltage. Okay. All right, gang, so it's starting to rain on us, so we're gonna wrap this up, but I am gonna show you how to clear out the scheduled service A, because we just performed it. So what you hit, do here is you hit enter, and then service perform, either yes, enter, no escape. So hit enter again, Switch to off, and now it's basically back into operating condition. If you go on the side, look, our light should be solid green. And it's red. You had a red light, just make sure after you did your manual operation that you switch back to the auto position. If you're not on the auto position, then it could be, you might see a red light. So just make sure you switch back to the auto position. Your LCD says ready to run, and you should be in good shape.
All right, so last thing to do is we're gonna check the battery. Just make sure the battery has proper voltage and actually is getting a little bit of a charge. Um, it does have you take this panel, all of this off, but there's a very easy way to do this without having to take anything apart. I do have my digital voltmeter here to check the battery voltage if you come around here. You look down uh, on the very back side of your generator, you're gonna be able to see the red power wire going to the starter and then the green ground wire going to the engine block. Now I'm simply just gonna go down there and probe both of those and see what my meter says. So, black on ground, red on, and I'm at 13.8 volts. So my battery is um, getting a charge from the house and everything looks good. So, there you have it, gang. Uh, not too terrible. Again, this is more of a service B uh, maintenance we did today, um, even though my generator is only calling for a service A. Um, the very last thing to wrap everything up is to put the generator back together. We can put the front cover back on and slide that down we have the green light we're in the ready to run position shut it down and i believe i have my keys take my keys lock your cabinet on both sides and we should be good to go for another year all right, gang, not too dip, uh, difficult of a job. Uh, pretty easy to do the maintenance on your generator. Just follow your scheduled maintenance service uh, schedules of whatever your generator calls for. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see uh, more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So that's going to be this one. Uh, it's going to wrap it up for this one, gang. So remember, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. All right. Thanks. See ya.